was fired by Trillanes Antonio Sani F. July 1, 2010, Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2010 was filed by Angara Edgardo J. July 5, Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2010 was filed by Enrile Juan Ponce. July 8, 2010, Anti-Computer Fraud and Abuses Act of 2010 by Lapid Manuel Lito. July 8, 2010, Anti-Cybercrime Act of 2010 by Billiar Mani B. September 22, 2010, Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2010 by Marcos Ferdinand Bong. February 3, 2011, Cybersecurity Education Enhancement Act by Defensor Santiago Miriam. And February 28, 2011, Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2011 by Revilla Jr. Ramon. After that, Mr. President, after all those bills proposed on the Cybercrime Act, an act defining cybercrime providing for prevention, investigation, and imposition of penalties therefore and other purposes was filed prepared and submitted jointly by the Committee on Science, Technology, Constitutional Amendments, Revisions of Codes and Laws, Education, Arts and Culture, Justice and Human Rights, Trade and Commerce, Public Information and Mass Media, and Finance. May 3, 2011. Again, uh, I'm sure you, you, you heard the, the, the committees that submitted with Senators Antonio Trillanes, Edgar, Edgardo Angara, Juan Ponce Enrile, Jingo Ejercito Estrada, Manuel Lito Lapid, Manny Villar, Miriam Defensor Santiago, Ferdinand Bombo Marcos, and Ramon Rivilla as authors. Per Committee Report Number 30, and recommending its approval in substitution of the Senate bills that I mentioned earlier. Taking into consideration Senate Resolution 75164 and 254. Ngayon, Mr. President, Pagdating po ng May 10, 2011, committee report was calendared for the ordinary business. That same day, it was sponsored by Senator Edgardo Angara, Chairman of the Committee on Education and Science and Technology. On May 11, it was transferred from the calendar for ordinary business to the calendar for special orders. Ganun po ang sistema dito sa atin para doon sa mga nakikinig sa atin sa labas, no? lalo na sa cyberspace. May 11, 2011, sponsorship speech by Senator Angara was followed by a co-sponsorship speech by Senator Loren Legarda. And Senator, Senator Loren Legarda was made co-author on the same day. Pagdating po ng September, September 12, 2011, the period of interpolations were opened. Interpolations were conducted by Miriam Defensor Santiago and Vicente Soto III. Pagdating po ng December 12, 2011, interpolations continued with Senator Vicente Soto III, Jofisto Gingona III, and Aquilino Pimentel III. December 13, 2011, interpolations by Senator Juan Ponce Enrile. And after that, December 13, 2011, the period of interpolations was closed. Dating ngayon ng January. January 24, after the Christmas break, there were inquiries conducted by Senator Chofisto Gingona III and Senator Panpilo Lacson during the period of committee and individual amendments and no longer in the period of uh, interpolation. So January 24, 2012, period of individual amendments on second reading with amendments. Lahat na ng amendments na pinag-usapan dito noon, nalaman ng Senate Bill na lumabas, nandudo na sa January 24, 2012, products of the interpolations in December and on to January. 
January 26, printed copies were distributed to the senators. January 30, it was approved on third reading. Ay, ibig sabihin nun, dumaan na sa second reading ho yun. Third reading ito. Those who voted in favor, Pia Cayetano, Chingoy Ercito Estrada, Chis Escudero, Gregorio Honasan, Pampilo Lacson, Lito Lapid, Loren Legarda, Bongbong Marcos, Coco Pibintel, Ralph Recto, Ramon Revilla Jr., Vicente Soto, Manny Villar. There was one who voted against, Senator T.G. Gingona. There were no abstentions. January 31, the following day, 2012, this was sent to the House of Representatives requesting for concurrence. Inabot po na ito ng mga ilang mga buwan sapagkat hindi pa pasado yung House version. Pagdating po ng May 30, 2012, again, the Senate requested the House of Representatives for a conference on the disagreeing provisions because the House passed it already. Designating Senators Angara, Santiago, Estrada, Marcos, Revilla, Trillanes, and Villar as is conferis to the Bicameral Conference Committee. Wala hong soto dun sa Bicam member. Pagdating ng June 5, 2012, the House of Representatives accepted the request of the Senate for a conference on the disagreeing provisions for Senate Bill 2796 and House Bill 5808. Representatives were Tinga, Yap, Singson Jr., Angara, Rodriguez, Sarmiento, Arenas, Kimbo, Goles, Sarmiento, Arroyo D., as the conferees in the Bicameral Conference Committee, May 30, 2012. June 5, 2012, the Conference Committee report submitted to the Senate recommending Senate Bill 2796 in consolidation with House Bill 5808 be approved as reconciled. And Senator Angara delivered a sponsorship speech after the BICAM. So sa BICAM ito, yung proseso natin, second reading, third reading, magmimit ang House of Representatives at saka Senate, pag-uusapan ang disagreeing provisions, paplansyahin nila, at pagkatapos, babalik sa Senate, babalik sa House. Pagbalik sa Senate, parehong-pareho na yon nung House version. Nagtataka ko sa mga nagtatanong doon. Parehong-pareho na. So, the committee report, conference committee report, was approved by the Senate on June 5. June 5, approved by the House of Representatives. Hello, one day ahead, Mr. President, the House approved it on June 4, 2012. So, ang totoo niyan, as of June 5, it was already out of the hands of the Senate. It was already enrolled. Enrolled copies na tinatawag, pinadala na sa kinaukulan, lalo na sa Pangulo ng Pilipinas. Now, may mga nagkiklaim na ito raw ay retaliation ko for the cyberbullying that I got. Mr. President, the cyberbullying attacks I got was on August and September of 2012. Way, way uh, beyond June 5, natapos, natapos na sa Senado to. Ang totoo nga niya, January 24, wala na sa kamay na Senate, lumabas na yun. So, it was after my turno in contra that the cyberbullying started, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, this uh, cyberbullying should not be too presumptuous. Parang KSP, Feeling important. The Senate will enact the law for them. Na co-contrain sila, re-retaliate sila. Excuse me, ha? Mr. President, may I suggest, ano, para sa kalinawan ng marami at medyo magandang kaisipan, I suggest that our colleagues and uh, the public read an online article 
written in the Wall Street Journal. Itong online uh, article nito is entitled Why We Are So Rude Online. Sa online browsing lowers self-control and is linked to higher debt and higher weight by Elizabeth Bernstein of the Wall Street Journal. I suggest it's a very nice reading. And also, Mr. President, I would like to commend the uh, editorial of the Manila Times today, October 8, 2012, Libel and Freedom of Speech. I suggest it, our colleagues and the public to also read that instead of uh, your uh, cyberbully weeping boy read it into the records of the Senate. So, with that, Mr. President, I thank you. I hope I am able to set the record straight para matigil ng pagbibintang at paranoia ng iba nating mga kababayan. Uh, and later on, I will be discussing with Senator Angara some provisions that he wants discussed. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Majority Leader. May I now ask that Senator Loren Ligarda be recognized on a matter of public interest? Mr. Senator Loren Ligarda is recognized.